What is up guys? Welcome back to another Arc Dev Kit tutorial. Now, before we do anything in this video, I want to start off by just saying thank you so much for 100 subscribers. That's so awesome. It makes me really happy that this channel is growing so well. In the not too distant future, I'm going to start moving on to maybe playing some games and stuff as well. Probably doing a playthrough of Arc. But for now, we're going to stick with these Dev Kit tutorials because they're doing really well. And I've had a lot of great feedback from you guys saying how much it's helping and how much more stuff you want to see. So we're going to keep working for the next few weeks and get as many of these done as possible to go through everything that you guys will need to know to make your own maps and mods as well. We will move on to that very soon. So in this video, we're going to be covering how to put a border around your island. You know, that fancy visqueen that goes around the island and stops you from leaving and obviously going into your dirt plane and falling through the world. So to implement the border for your map, we're going to make sure we're in our game folder and we're going to do a search for island wall. And that's going to bring up this file here, the Island Wall Bounds. If you don't have this, you need to open the island map and go up to the Levels tab and press Load All Levels. And then that will load the level with the wall boundaries in it and it will start to show up in the content browser. That will take a while. It will probably take you like an hour if you haven't done it before, just because there's so many textures and shaders it has to compile and stream and it's just... It's a lengthy process, but it's worth doing because after that you'll have all of the content you need to make your map. So now we've got our island wall bounds, we're just going to drag that on here. And as you can see, there's a nice big box for us. So let's go up a little bit. And we're just going to position this over our map. Obviously, it's quite important that you get this to where you want your map edges to be. Otherwise, when we actually create the blocking volumes later to stop you from leaving, they won't line up and it'll look weird because you'll stop moving before you hit this. It's quite important to get this bit right just for aesthetic reasons. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this quite close to the edge just so we can get a better demo of how it's working without having to swim or fly to the edge of the map. So now let's make it bigger, nice and tall so it encompasses the whole map. And now if we get up close to it, you'll be able to see we do have our fancy visqueen there. So, now for the ceiling. So we're going to just do a search again for island ceiling. Here we go, island ceiling bounds. Alrighty. Now let's drag this on as well. Now you don't have to be too accurate with this. It just needs to make sure that you cover your whole map and that you have made a box. So let's find our wall here. We'll go up to the top, and yeah, you can see we have made a box there so that people can't get out. That's what we need. So now we're actually going to get on to putting in our blocking volumes to stop people from actually going through these areas. So let's go into our view modes here, and now we're going to click on our island wall bounds so we can see it. There we go, we can probably make it a little bit smaller actually. A bit unnecessary to have it that long. Now we can see how the island wall bounds is covering our landscape, which is this bit here. And we can see the edges, which is important. We're now going to go up to our modes tab and search for blocking. Here we go, so this is what we need, blocking volumes. So let's drag these on. Here we go. And now we're going to use these different view modes to help us position these as walls. So we can see here this yellow line is our wall boundaries. So if we just remember where that is and then find our blocking volume. Here we go. And let's just drag that over to here and then obviously make it a bit longer. There we go. Now you don't want it too wide because otherwise you've just got a big useless box. We do want it to be longer so that we can use it as a wall. So now let's drag this over here and line that up. There we go. So now hold down your Alt key, drag it over here, makes a new copy, and then we want another copy. But this one we're going to rotate around by 90 degrees. There we go. Drag it over to the edge here. And then a copy of this one. Alrighty, so that's the walls done. So now we're just going to make sure they're tall enough. So let's select all four of them. Switch over to our expanding tool. 
and we're just going to drag them up a little bit. Because obviously it's very important that they're tall enough to cover the entire map and make a box around it. There we go. You can see it's covering our entire wall boundary area. This can be quite a fiddly process, but it's useful being able to do it with this mode and being able to see from all the different angles with the wireframe so you're not kind of seeing all the trees and having to look through the landscape and stuff like that. So the last little bit we have left to do is the ceiling, which we just need another blocking volume. Let's drag it on here. There we go, and we're now just going to move it down and rest it just on our ceiling there. And there we go. That's all done. So let's expand this view again. Quick look out. Now obviously when you're building your map, that looks awful and gets in the way a bit. So you could chuck them in a folder and just make them invisible by clicking this little eye icon so you don't have to see them anymore. But for now, that's more than fine for me. So let's click play and make sure it's all working. Here we go. So let's swim out and find the edge of the world. And look, there it is already. So, yeah, you can see it here. Obviously, that doesn't look fantastic. It's probably to do with the way it's been scaled. But it's the edge of the world. No one's going to see it that much. It doesn't matter too much if it's been scaled badly. But if you wanted to sort it out with the scaling options, then I suppose you could. So let's just fly up to the top. Make sure that's OK too. Here we go, you can see it coming in there. And we've stopped. So obviously this is a very crucial part of any map because you have to have the borders on the edges, otherwise people will just be walking off the edge and falling down to nothingness. And that's not what you want really. So I'm really happy I've been able to make this video. It took me a little while to work it all out. I had to go through all the island levels and find these files. But hopefully this will help some of you guys out to make the nice looking borders for the edges of the map. So I hope this video helped you guys out. I'm currently working on a tutorial for the time and weather system, which will be coming out in the next day or two. Hopefully that will make it much easier for you guys to create a weather system and time system inside your maps, because obviously that's quite a common issue that people have. I've seen it scattered around YouTube. People don't know how to do it, all the forums, and it's taken me quite a while to work out a good way to do it. So I hope this video helped you guys out. And of course, leave a like and comment anything else you want to see in the dev kit. But for now, I'll see you in the next one.